Howdy, y'all. Good morning, everyone. We have left Longview, Texas. Got basically everything we want done. I even finished painting the box that we hadn't finished in the last vlog. But we came up to Little Rock to take care of some stuff that needs to be done, like a haircut. <laughs> and we are so thankful that we have this camper right now because, as many of you know, this past week, a cold front came in and the low in Little Rock tonight, or last night, was 31 degrees is what it was showing. Mm -hmm. And the whole country is basically cold. The only place that's not cold, which blew our mind, is Maine. Eastern Maine, not Western. Western is just as cold as here. Jeez. Yeah, if you look right there, that's Maine up there. And there's just this orange down to Florida and this is everything else. Wow. Pretty crazy, That's huh? insane. That actually gives me a chill and I feel like I need to blow my nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty chilly. But because it was so cold last night, there's a lot of noises going on in here that we're not used to. So we have had the furnace on. Now we did test the furnace prior and we burned off most of the smell. Most of you know when you get like a new RV, you have to turn the furnace on and let it burn to get that smell out. So we did that already. But we had the furnace on last night and just to be safe, I had this open um, on low like it is right now. And then we noticed the water heater was kicking on and Cody was like, maybe it's just it knows that the water temperature is dropping. And this was probably like two in the morning. I heard it kicked on. I was like, what? Cause it's a blue screen that comes on and it's just like, what is going on? And you can hear it coming on, kicking on. And the water pump was even turned off. And he was like, it probably just knows that the water's getting too cold. So it's trying to heat it up. And it says FD, which is flame detected. Sure enough, I Googled it and that's what it meant. <laughs> she freaks out over the littlest thing. She can't go to sleep. She tossed and turned and I'm trying to go back to sleep. She's like, you're right. It, it said that. And I was like, mm -hmm. I was kind of starting to guess that it was that smart. Mm -hmm. But I guess it is. It was pretty neat. Now we do have tank heaters, but it didn't stay below freezing long enough to turn the tank heaters on. Everything was fine this morning. So we'll see. Now it's time to book it to our hair appointment, which is at 10 o'clock. And we are double checking everything is off. We've got the table mounted, water pump off, everything's off, heat's off, starting the truck. That's pretty cool. Off. All right, let's get our hairs cut. Our hair is fabulous now. I feel pretty nice. I feel fancy. So we do have another errand that we need to run. We've got to go pick up coffee. Now this coffee, our opinion is it is the best coffee we have ever had. We've tried all kinds of coffee. We're not talking about a coffee shop. It is a coffee shop. We like lattes, but this is the coffee that I make every morning for us in the French press. So Guillermo's is also one of our sponsors, so we'll make sure to put the link for their coffees below. But Kelly's right, it's pretty solid, especially the Italian Stallion. However, we couldn't go without getting a to-go seasonal a latte. latte. What is it? <laughs> Pumpkin spiced chai. <sighs> It so is good. delicious, y'all. So good. Mm. But we have one more errand to run before we can do something fun. And Kelly says, I need a tux with my hair. Yeah, it looks like he needs to have like a, a tux on. This is your fancy hair. My fancy hair. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis, for giving me some fancy hair. I told Dennis that we actually came back to Arkansas to get our hair cut. And then we we're like, hey, while we're here, let's get a new truck and a camper. Yeah. <laughs> Put 
put away everything and I've rearranged this cabinet already. I had to find somewhere to put all the coffee and this is where it's gonna ride. Plus it smells really good in here. There is nothing better than coffee and seasoning. It's my favorite <laughs> shelf. Now that those little tasks are done, we're gonna do something that I have missed and I love doing so much that what we used to do me? all the time. Oh, I said, I, oh, us. Sorry, Angel Princess. I like doing it too. Something we love doing. Sorry, I was just getting a little giddy. I'm all selfish right now. It's okay, I get selfish too. Hey, it happens <laughs> to the best of us. But we are about to go and climb Pinnacle. Haven't done it in forever. And we were just itching to do it. What I used to say when we lived here, I was like, that's my mountain. That's my mountain. <laughs> she looked at it, we go by, that's my mountain. <laughs> here we are, Pinnacle Mountain State Park. This is the east summit. This is the harder side of the trail. This is the trail we like to do. There's an easy side, I guess it's a west summit. And then there's two base trails or one base trail that goes around the bottom. And we just like to do east summit. It's quick, it's a good workout and it's hard. So this is the very first physical hike activity that I've done since South Dakota. No, no, we hiked in, uh, starts with the M. Montana? No. Mississippi? No. <laughs> Why can't I think of everywhere? Starts with an M, was it a state? Where was it, Wisconsin? Minnesota? Oh, Devil's Lake. Okay, I forgot about that one. That was the last hike we did. That's the last hike. And y'all, I have really gotten out of shape. I've been working so much almost every day doing little tasks on that camper. I haven't even thought about it. It's time for me to start focusing on myself again. So if you're new to the channel, we lived in Little Rock, Arkansas for six years and this is kind of our home to us. This is where we, our relationship, our adult relationship was really present here more so than anywhere else. Yeah, not our hometown, but when we first moved from our hometown, we moved here. And this is where, when he says our adult relationship, like where we made more adult friendships, I guess you would say, or business relationships. Uh, Cody was really prominent in the community here, doing mountain biking stuff, cycling, trash cleanups. Anyway, we feel like we kind of blossomed here and we still think of it as our home because we really like Little Rock. And so that's why we frequent here so often. So Pinnacle Mountain is the second largest mountain peak in Pulaski County. Sitting at 1,011 feet, the tallest mountain is actually right across from a Walmart. <laughs> right, right south of here called Chenal Mountain. And it's 1,060, so they're real close to each other in height. And this is a part of the Washita Mountain Range. It is a mountain range that runs east to west and this part is the first part of it that actually touches the Arkansas River. From here on, heading west, the, Wash the Arkansas River starts moving more towards the Ozark, Boston Mountain region, and away from the Washita's. Wow, I'm already breathing. Quit talking. You can't get a workout in if you're talking. Yes, ma'am. Gotta keep the heart rate up. Gotta keep the heart rate up. I'm out here with my tuxedo hairdo. Oh, so that right there, that's Chanel Mountain. That's the mountain that's taller than Pinnacle. And there's a road up to the top with some towers. And from what I understand, some new trails going in, built by our good friend with Affordable Trail Solutions. There's some good guys. They made some awesome trails in the area. Has it started yet? Oh yeah, I don't know where he is on it. I haven't talked to him in a while. 
You look tired. It's beating me. She said, do you think that this is really gonna be a good workout for today? I was like, wow, you haven't done this in a while, Angel Princess. Now, there is a western summit trail, which isn't as steep as this. It's longer, but it's not as steep. And it actually has benches that you can sit on along the way. <sighs> this is the top right here. Where we used to live in relation to this is if you see that field, there's a ridge right there that ends. We lived right behind there. About a 10 minute drive from here. And then every weekend that we couldn't go far away, we just went right out there. If you see those peaks camping. And that peak right there is called Rattlesnake Ridge. There's some awesome mountain bike trails there built by Affordable Trail Solutions as well. Plus an even more epic hike to the very top where it just drops off on either side. Ask Kelly if she wanted to do that today. I wanted to do my mountain. <laughs> so for our little trip, we always like to go down partially on the other side. And we always come down to the bottom of the boulder field on the west summit and then climb right back up right there. Right on the edge, it's living on the edge. It's a workout. This is the part I think that kills me more than the other side. This is the part that I like. Though. Yeah, this is Kelly's favorite part. And once we do the down and back up, we're back at the top. We're back at the top. Then we'll go back down. It's always a great experience. <laughs> and I'm so happy right now. Are you tired? I'm very tired. We'll see y'all back at the bottom. Just got back to camp, got cleaned off, and climbing Pinnacle Mountain really made my day. That is one of my favorite things to do when I come to Little Rock. But there is a burn ban and it's still really cold. You can't have a fire right now. Another reason we're very happy that we have this camper. So happy that we have it. Now we did shower, but we didn't shower in our shower. We used the showers at the campground because they actually have really nice showers with really great water pressure. So anytime we go to a campground and the shower is legit, we'll probably just use that one. And we're only gonna use this one if we're primitive camping somewhere and there's no water source, like a river or creek or something to feed with a Jolco shower system. So then we'll use this one with the water tank. But yes, we are so happy that we have this because it is unexpectedly cold outside. It is gonna warm back up in the next couple of days, but yesterday and today has been very cold. We do have the heat on, we have the furnace on. It's not running right now, but we'll probably leave it running all night because it is cold. Since it is fall, we're gonna be making a 
fall pasta dish. I'm gonna make the butternut squash ravioli. Are you hungry? I'm so hungry. I haven't made that in a long time, actually. No, you haven't. It's been a while. But it is in the cookbook. If you have the cookbook, it is in there. If you do not have a cookbook and you're wanting wanting to order a cookbook, we did order 300 more cookbooks. They should be in about, when you see this video, maybe six weeks from now. And as soon as we get them in, we will post on all social media accounts, even YouTube, to let you guys know. And we'll even say it in the video once they become available. First thing we're going to do is toast some walnuts. I'm gonna let my butter melt and then we'll throw in some walnuts. can't tell we're really loving having this camper especially this part man that furnace works really well i mean it feels so good in here and i'm exhausted from doing pinnacle today i was really tiring so i'm happy that i have this nice bed to relax in but we're gonna be here for a little bit longer in arkansas before we start heading somewhere else yeah we have a few more things that we've ordered that we need before we get on the road so we're waiting for those to come in it's nothing really crazy that's going to take a long time to install we just need it to come in so that we can do what we need to do once those few things are here we'll hit the road which should be pretty soon yeah and we still want to see jonathan and i know y'all do too so we are going to camp with him so we need to see him before we leave as well i know y'all miss jonathan and people who are new to the channel jonathan is kelly's brother my brother-in-law and he's been in my life for 17 years because that's how long kelly and i've been together and he was five years old when i met him yeah. little booger just a little booger however we'll catch you on the other see you on the next one